part of my slow motion series and I have the basics out but I keep getting requests for more and this is a request that I received. So keep those coming and I can add more to the playlist. If you'd like to see the playlist of slow motion videos for very visual learners, just click the little eye in the upper right hand corner to see all those and I'll be adding periodically as um, I get requests for more videos. This video is going to do slow motion German short row stitch and German short rows are a way of working short rows on the work to add shaping. I use it a lot in my sock patterns and tutorials, but you can also use German short rows as a replacement for traditional wraps and turns. I know people, um, I hear it all the time, people don't really like working wraps and turns and picking up the wraps, and so this is an alternative. If you'd like to see my regular speed German short row video, just click the little eye in the upper right hand corner, I'll add that there. And this one, I'm going to go ahead and work just on this little sample because there's knitting between and to, to kind of, you don't have to watch me work a bunch of knit stitches um, in slow motion. But I'm also going to add voiceover to this so you know exactly what I'm doing when I'm doing it. I'm going to work um, the German short row setup and then knitting those stitches together all in slow motion. So let's get started. I'm starting by knitting up to the stitch that I want to knit up to following my pattern before I turn the work. And in this case, I'm going to knit all the way to the end stitch. Turn the work. Slip that stitch and then take the working yarn and pull up on it to create kind of a double stitch and then I yarned forward to purl across this row. And now I will purl following my pattern to the next spot these first two stitches where I'm turning the work from the right side and now the the wrong side the purl side they aren't actually short rows because I'm working all the way across but a lot of patterns including a lot of my sock patterns have you do just that so I wanted to demonstrate German short rows on the edge stitches And now a German short row from the wrong side of the work. I knit that stitch. Turn the work. Slip that stitch as if to purl. Pull the working yarn forward and then tug up on that stitch 
and continue knitting the right side row. Up to the next spot where we need to turn the work. In this case, I'm going to turn the work on the second stitch from the end. This is how a lot of my sock patterns work. So I knit that stitch, turn the work, slip the stitch, tug up on it to create kind of a funny double stitch, then yarn forward to purl across the wrong side row. up to the second to the last stitch, purl it, turn the work, yarn forward, slip that stitch, tug on it, and then knit the right side row. And now we're going to incorporate those stitches back into the work. Kind of the second half of the German short row stitch. I'm going to knit up to the first double stitch, which in this case is the second one from the end. I'm going to knit those two halves of the stitch together. And do the same thing with the next stitch. Now I'm turning the work. Because I'm going to work a German short row on that second stitch. The yarn's already in front, so I slip that stitch, tug up on it, and yarn forward to purl to the first double stitch. I'm going to purl those two halves of the stitch together. It 
trying again. Looks like I split that stitch. Third time's a charm. And purl together the second double stitch. And turn the work. And I'm going to work a German short row on that second stitch, slip it, pull the yarn forward under the needle because it's the edge stitch, yank up on that stitch to create a funny double stitch, and then knit across to the double stitch on the right side row. Knit those two halves together. And there you can see the shaping that we've created with just those couple of German short row turns. That last little bit there was to show you the shaping in the work and how just those couple of German short rows actually really shaped the work. Anyway, I hope that helps visual learners. Good luck.